deciding to film the first video today well it suited me quite well but um Harley was actually you know midway through a mud spa so it wasn't great timing on her part but uh yeah Here it goes a little to introduce us as a pair and yeah it's good to so I've had Harley for five years haven't done much with her I'm not gonna lie in terms of going out and competing and things like that I haven't I've taken her to a few pony club rallies uh, but that's kind of it because she's had multiple injuries unfortunately has a fractured pole it's healed now She's going to be really sensitive on the top of her head and when being ridden she can't do any lateral work without things pinching up there in her head. So to ride her I can but I'd be putting her in sort of under distress and I don't really want to do that. She means a lot to me and I'd rather her just be comfortable. She also cut her leg open in 2019 on electric fencing. That is basically the reason she's in fault. I can't really do much ridden work. I've done so much groundwork over five years. Um, she wouldn't load before very like comfortably, not go in her stable, very claustrophobic. I couldn't actually touch her ears, which now isn't actually that much of a problem. I couldn't brush her face. A lot has changed for her. Uh, she's in a complete different mental place. She wouldn't have stood here like this. She would have been like, oh my God, what's going on next? What's happening? Uh, so the change in her is amazing, which is another reason I decided to put her into foal. She has already had a foal in a previous home, not with us. This is my first foal. So, next. So, there'll be a video coming up about who she's been put in foal to. Yeah, she says that I'm already done with this whole foaling business, just get it out. <laughs> she is on her 11 months, so it's not gonna be long. Very exciting videos to come. So yeah, that's Harley. I've been riding since I was eight. So I got my first pony when I was eight, Pumpkin, who is actually my profile picture and the photos on my display thing, banner. There's a couple of him and you'll see him all over my Instagram. Have a look at that. This foal is sort of going to be a long term thing. I'm not planning on selling it. He or she. Put down in the comments what you think, girl or boy. I think on this particular channel we're going to be showing so many different things. I mean there's going to be yard sort of jobs and things like that. How much a horse costs. Um, quite a range of things. There's going to be lots of foal content. If fingers crossed everything goes well with the foaling, there will be so much foal content. Like seeing how like the breaking in process. I mean everyone does it differently, but it's interesting to see the different ways of doing it. The crows clearly want to say something. But yeah, that's me Harley. I think we should give her a brush if I'm honest with you. It is actually starting to rain, which is really blimmin' unhelpful, isn't it? Once I've described to you the dad, the foal, the sire, you should understand my plans of what I want to do with the foal. Uh, I mean, that'll be quite obvious. She's got really quite good bloodlines as well. So I'm really hoping we have something nice in there, Harley. You can share so much through videos, but I, I don't know, I feel like this is more raw, like you're getting first hand everything. I mean, first hand mud. Right, look ready. Look at this. First time mud. We're living in We're living in a bit of a swamp at the moment, aren't we, Harley? Where are you going? Going on a little wander. Oh yeah, I might just eat some hay. While we're here we can take a good glimpse at your belly. <laughs> the foal is usually on this side. Or has a lot more active wiggles on this side. It's actually moving right now, she'd stop eating. Right here. 
I don't know whether you can see that. But there is, there is a baby in there. Poor Harley. So I'm gonna get her brushed and then I'll probably show you King and the chickens. You know, I gave a pretty brief description on me and Harley. I mean, a couple other things I could add. We absolutely love working at Liberty. Got a really, really strong connection <clears throat> um, on the ground, which is really lovely. I really do appreciate that with her. That's something I love. And I'd probably, if I was ever to ride her again, incorporate that into the riding because there's less pressure on her, which she loves. She just doesn't like a lot of like, pressure. She likes to be able to just relax, do her own thing, which I think, you know, if that's what she enjoys, that's what she can do. It'll be a while before I obviously get back on her. There'll be lots of long lining to get her back strength and everything back, her top line, get her working properly again um, from the ground and then just have fun with the ridden. I don't think it'll be anything like, you know, working on the contact or things like that or jumping. I think it's going to mainly stick to low level fun, tackless, bareback, that sort of thing which will be interesting. Um, me and Harley, we love Liberty, so there'll be plenty of Liberty videos um, playing from the ground. We have a real strong connection on the ground, which is lovely. It's, especially without being able to ride her, I can then really appreciate this, really. Just us, which is so lovely. And then obviously the foal, I can incorporate things into the foal that you can't do well, I mean, you can do when you buy something, but it, I don't know, it's slightly more personal. Um, knowing everything that's happened to the foal and yeah, basically. But again, there'll be a video, hopefully, in a few days' time, in this one being posted, about the foal and the dad and her breeding. Um, I don't think there's anything else, do you, Holly? Have we put Holly in her table? She's honestly so good. So, long story short, my phone died while I was filming about King and the chickens, so I thought I'd do a little explanation on here. King is a 17.3 Holostein, he competed up to like 130 over in America, but he is now retired. He doesn't actually belong to me, um, he belongs to a lovely lady, we just look after him. He's about 22 now, so he's quite old, and especially for a big horse. but. Him and Harley get on so well, so it's lovely to have him on the yard. Um, and the chickens, wow, they're very mischievous. I'm sure they'll be in lots of videos. Um, yeah, they love making a noise, making a fuss. Uh, we have four chickens, and they always lay us four eggs every day, which is really good, actually. Eggs always come in handy. Um, and that's really it from me. Thank you very much for watching. In a few videos time, there should hopefully, fingers crossed, all goes well, be a super exciting video coming out. A little full reveal. Um, so everyone, I want your fingers crossed that everything goes well for Harley. Having her fall. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe because that really does help me out. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Baby, you make me feel young like